Melissa Villasenor broke barriers by becoming the first ever Latina cast member of SNL. Since Woo! then, she has had success as a voice and a film actor and author. She's a singer. She does it all. She does it all, and she's incredible. Melissa joins us now with details on her Whoops tour. My we, Whoops, we, I'm awesome <laughs> tour. Yes. Okay. Uh, good morning. Good, good morning, morning, Chicago. Yes, thank you so much for being here. How many years were you on SNL? Is there about seven? Six. Six years. I know. Okay. Should have done seven. No, no. no. I think you were smart. Six. Yeah. I yeah. just, um, yeah, it's six amazing years of that, growth and, and magic, really. Yeah. I just think it was magical. But yeah. What a hustle that is. I mean, that, I can't even fathom having to do that and everything else you have always, you've been doing too. I mean, how did you get that oh, much wow. done? I'm a loner. Okay. I, I'm a, I think, you know, sometimes my fans are like, wow, how do you do it all? Acting and singing and comedy. I'm like, it's because I hang out alone a lot. And I like, I, I love just getting better at arts and crafts and, and getting creative. Oh, okay. Yes. There's a clip. Yeah. You know, that was hot because right before live, uh -huh. they were like, Donald, put on this tank and said a t-shirt. And I was like, don't do that to me. <laughs> don't do that to me. That's no. hot. Is there a favorite, um, <laughs> like, is there a star that you really loved working with on SNL? Oh, my SNL God. Or? There are so many greats. I mean, man. Oh, <laughs> there's just so many. Ma this, this makes me emotional. It just makes me so. I'm, I'm just so amazed I was there. Was there extra pressure? Did you feel extra pressure because you were the first Latina a cast little member? Bit, a little bit. I was like, ah, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I'm trying my best, but I... Um, no, I mean, I, I I just did what I, I could do. Mm -hmm. I, at the end of the day, it's like, well, I, I can only represent me, you know? What yeah. Can I, I can't carry everything, but uh, you were felt amazing. like I did a good job. You were amazing, I, I yeah. Hard, so. Let's talk about, uh, whoops, I'm yes. awesome, the tour and the book. Yes, so the book came out, guys. It is a adult a workbook for your inner child. That's Ooh. how I like to explain. So there's a lot of activities, oh, fun. funny stories, some emo drawings. I'm a pretty emotion, emotional person and sensitive, so this is all a, a, a collection of those things. And it's, um, yeah, all the things I do to get, try to get to that silly, sillier side of myself, so. I, yeah. I, mean, I mean, you have to be able to tap into that emotion, I think, to play and embody all the characters. Uh, yeah. Were you always like this since a kid? I, I think so. Okay. I think every Everything just affects me so much. I'm like, oh. <gasps> <laughs> I'm just an empath, and I get, I feel everything intensely. So, but thankfully, I can channel and let it out in different ways in my jokes, in my art. It, it's just incredible. I I would yeah. imagine that a, a lot of comedians are like that too. Oh yeah, right. I mean, I know Kevin Nealon's on a book tour too. He oh, has yeah. amazing paintings and. I think we're, yeah, we just... Artistic. Artistic people. Mm -hmm. I think we all are, though, you know? Did you ever imagine that you would become so successful at, at being an empath and channeling these emotions and doing these impressions Ooh. and making people laugh? I, I didn't think the sensitivity part would come into play, but now it has with the yeah. art, and, I, and I'm grateful for it. I love it. When did you know you wanted to be a comedian? Cause oh, when I was like 13, 14. Oh, really? Because I was doing singing impressions and I love making people laugh with them. Uh, little Benny Spears. <laughs> Sorry, I spit. <laughs> Whoops. That was the passion. That's yes. the passion That's coming the passion, out. Passion, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I was like, oh, I, I, I'm, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I felt I, I, I knew I had like a superpower in a way that other people didn't. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna, gonna do comedy. And then I started getting obsessed with SNL. And uh, yeah, and just kept working at it. And and your mom's here with you. Yeah, but, my mom's um, here. She, she, was she worried? Was she like, I don't know? Is well, she gonna we be? were just saying right now, she's like, I didn't think ever, like, oh, one of my kids is going to be a comedian. <laughs> she right. just, yeah, I think she was like, this, this will phase out, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I was like, no, this is, this is it, really. I didn't go to, you know, college. I was like, no. Nah. No. You're like, I'm liking you this. I, I, I just knew. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. So, and you have a new song out too, right? A song will be out November 11th. Okay. Right? It's called Watching You. Not a creepy thing. <laughs> it's not like watching you and staring at you. It's just observing people I love in my life laughing and memories. So I think it's perfect for Thanksgiving and... Yeah. Did you, you ever know. take voice lessons? Because I mean, you have such you yeah. have a very pretty voice. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Ah. I mean, goodness. <laughs> That is amazing. Yeah. I want to share a little bit. I know this is a forced bit, but I do a Billie Eilish impression because yes. I love Billie. You know, Don't you know I'm no good for you? I've learned to lose. You can't afford to. And I realized 
Now, you know how she whispers, sings? Yeah, yeah. You know? So you're a tough guy, like it really rough. Mm -hmm. I realize why she sings those dirty, dark lyrics. Why? It's because her older brother's right near her all the time. <laughs> and she's trying to sing it. So you're a tough guy. And her brother's like, what? Like, I was singing, if my brother heard me, like, what, what did you just say? And I'd be like, nothing. Nothing, oh. nothing brother. I know we got to go, but I, it's so funny because <laughs> oh, you have such go. a distinctive, you have such a distinctive voice. But when you sing, your voice sounds I know. totally I just, different. I should just stay in the, the other sing. voices, huh? Sing no. the rest of your life. The, don't even talk anymore. Just be a musical, right? I, it's your signature. I, I love your voice. Thank yeah. you so mm. much. Uh, well, <laughs> she's got shows tonight and two tomorrow at the Den Theater. Uh, go check her out. You can get more information at thedentheater.com and follow her on social media. You're a great follower. It's yeah. so funny. Oh, thank you You're so much. Lovely, lovely, lovely.